Well, for months now, we have been following the Army Corps of Engineers as they begin work to remove Manhattan Project waste from Lewiston. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. In about two weeks, those shipments out of western New York will begin. But now there are concerns from those who live where the waste will end up. Two on your sides, Nate Benson has been following the story for us for a while now. And Nate, there are an awful lot of upset people in Michigan now, right? Yeah, that's right, Scott. Lawmakers in Michigan are now trying to rush a bill through the state legislature that would stop the shipments before they even start. Michigan State Representative Reggie Miller says she's taking a strong stance. She introduced legislation to ban radioactive waste. This comes after a month ago the Army Corps of Engineers notified Van Buren Township that more than 8,000 tons of radioactive waste from Lewiston was being shipped there at the end of September. Van Buren Township is about 30 miles southwest of Detroit. The main issue, according to Representative Miller, is the lack of transparency. We need to know what is being brought in here. There's roughly 6,000 cubic yards of soil and concrete contaminated with uranium, radium, thorium, and other volatile material. Plus, there's around 4,000 gallons of contaminated groundwater. There's only five facilities in the United States that are licensed to accept this kind of material. Two in Texas, one in Utah, one in Idaho, and the site in Michigan. Why was Van Buren selected over Texas or Idaho? Steve Polipiak is the chief of special projects at the Buffalo District of the Army Corps of Engineers. You know, considering disposal rates and shipping distances and costs in the selection of those appropriate disposal facilities, you know, we're conserving the limited capacity at the other facilities that are permitted to uh, receive the higher activity radio waste. Does proximity play a, a role in that decision making too? I mean, obviously, you don't necessarily want this material trucking long distances if it doesn't have to. Michigan being closer to Lewiston than Idaho and Texas, correct? Correct. The Army Corps maintains they're following all of the federal DOT guidelines for transporting the radioactive material to Michigan. But Michigan lawmakers highlight that the facility has had environmental violations as recently as July 2022. They found inadequate waste identification and labeling, liquid containment modification without permit, facility inspection requirements were not met, and improper tank system requirements. The bill banning the shipment of radioactive waste was introduced to the Michigan legislature on Wednesday, but shipments from Lewiston are set to begin on September 25th. It's unknown if the bill could pass so quickly and get signed by Governor Whitmer. But hey, anything is possible if lawmakers put their mind to it. From a legislative side of things, something were to impact the transport of this material, is there a backup plan of where to maybe take it? You know, we've, we've got the five that are available. Um, and, and those are, you know, at, at this point, if one of those drops, the other four uh, would be available. Now, if and when those shipments do begin, tr 25 truckloads will leave Lewiston each week. The first phase of this project is expected to wrap up by the end of January 2025. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.